Good morning. According to tradition, each candle has a special meaning. The third candle, which is pink, symbolizes joy. Christmas excitement is building as the holiday quickly approaches. Listen to a reading from Luke. But the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. Luke chapter 2, verse 10. The angels made a big announcement on the first Christmas, calling Jesus' birth good news that would bring great joy. Everything we do to get ready for Christmas can fill us with joy about Jesus. When we are joyful, we, like the angels, can help spread that good news. During this week, take a moment to reflect on one thing for which you are especially joyful as we approach this coming Christmas. Amen. Three candles burning bright, chasing away the darkness from light. Three candles glowing light, the blessing of God giving new sight.
Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our special service today of Lessons and Carols. And welcome to all of you who may be watching us on Facebook. Blessed are you, holy and living one. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Dear people of God, in the season of Advent, it is our responsibility and joy. <laughs> we had a little mic issue there. We're going to start again. Dear people of God, in the season of Advent, it is our responsibility and joy to prepare ourselves to hear once more the message of the angels, to go to Bethlehem and to see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed the Holy Scripture, in the Holy Scriptures, the story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against him until the glorious redemption brought to us by his holy child, Jesus. And let us look forward to the yearly remembrance of his birth with hymns and songs of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church in our country and in this city. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O come, thou wisdom from on high, and order all things far and nigh. To us the path of knowledge show, and teach us in her ways to go. The first reading concerns knowledge of good and evil from the book of Genesis. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God say you shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden, but God said, you shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, 
knowing good and evil. So that when, when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be more desired to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some of, to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. The man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord, of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to me to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. Oh. 
O come, O come, thou Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times did give the law in cloud and majesty and awe. Prepare the way of the Lord, Isaiah chapter 40. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. And I said, What shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings, lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep.
O come, thou rod of Jesse's stem, from every foe deliver them that trust thy mighty power to save and give them victory over the grave. The way of the, re- of the redeemed, Isaiah 35, 1 through 10. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad, the desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear, here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Thou key of David, come, and open wide our heavenly home. Make safe the way that leads on high, that we no more have cause to sigh.
Emmanuel, God with us. Isaiah 7, 10 through 15. Again, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol, or as high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals, that you weary my God also? Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. He shall eat curds and honey by the time he knows how to refuse the evil and choose the good. Cheer us by thy dawning nigh. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadow put to flight.
The king will come from Bethlehem. Michael, chapter 5, verses 2 through 4. But you, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of, of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of his Lord, the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Desire of the nations, bid in one the hearts of all mankind, bid every strife and quarrel cease, and fill the world with heaven's peace. them. Ooh, now. 
Isaiah 11, 1 through 9. A shoot shall come, shall come out of the stalk of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall lie down with the lamb, the leopard shall die, lie down with the wolf, with the kid, and the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play with over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put forth his head in the hand in the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. Mary's Consent, from Luke 1, verses 26 through 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. 
He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Please stand as you are able for the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, 
the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people. In peace we pray to you, Lord God, for all people in their daily life and work, especially Dorothy, Diamond, Anne, and Margaret, for our families, friends, and neighbors, and those who are alone. We pray for this community, the nation, and the world, especially our leaders, Joe, our president, Kamala, our vice president, Josh, our congressman, James and Mark Wayne, our senators, Kevin, our governor, and Marlon, our mayor, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. We pray for the just and proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. We pray for all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble, especially Johnson family, Ronnie, Mike, John, Geneva, Glenn, Rose, Karen, Paul, Tracy, Adriana, Fred, Stuart, John Paul, Michael, Joey, Nancy, Dale, Gary, Brittany, Thomas, Catherine, Jennifer, Patricia, Kathy, the Dustin, Paula, Philip, Marlene, Taylor, all those impacted by war and violence, all emergency responders, United States military, and those whose suffering is known only to God, and for those who minister to the sick, the friendless, and the needy. We pray for the peace and unity of the Church of God, especially St. Matthew's Enid, Church of the Holy Spirit, Montevideo, Uruguay, the Diocese of Rhode Island, the Diocese of Vermont, and the Anglican Church of Australia. We pray for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Paulson, our bishop, Chris and Tom, our clergy, Alex and Audrey, our wardens, our vestry, and our delegates, and for all who serve God in his church. We pray for the special needs and concerns of this congregation. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life. We will exalt you, O God, our King. Praise your name forever and ever. We pray for all who have died, especially Rocky Malone, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Lord, let your loving kindness be upon them who put their trust in you. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
Let us greet one another in the name of the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, last night was Jingle Jam. Um, we had so many people here, so it was great. With like um, a Southern Baptist revival. <laughs> <laughs> so just a little bit of, um, pers uh, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Last Sunday, we had 35 families registered. By Friday, we had 100 families registered. And most all of them who registered showed up. That was over 200 children. And then we had some families who were not registered who also showed up. So we had a great turnout. And all thanks to you guys for contributing toward that and making that happen, whether it be, you know, you're donating money, you're donating toys, you're donating your time, you're here getting run over by the traffic with all of us or whatever the case may be. Um, thank you all so very, very much. Um, I want to also thank the, the Jingle Jam committee, everyone on the committee for getting that together, making my job a lot easier and um, just pulling it together. Uh, we had a lot of great volunteers and a lot of help, and it definitely was a lot easier than doing it by myself this year, so I appreciate that. Um, 
And I know there was something else I was gonna say, but I always forget half of it. So you're probably glad I'll be up here less. But um, anyway, thank you all so very much. We appreciate it. Um, the other thing I need to let you know about is our Advent activities that we've been doing on Wednesday night. This is the last week of, of those activities. Um, we will be doing on Wednesday night at 6.30, we have our blue Christmas service in the chapel. Rather than the evening prayer, we have our blue Christmas service. And then we will be having our ad Advent activity, which is a family Christmas party. Um, we'll be having pizza and snacks, and we'll be um, having some different fun acti party activities during that time. We will also be doing a Christmas ornament exchange. So come bring a wrapped Christmas ornament, and then we'll have a fun game where we change them all around, and, and you get to go home with one. Um, and I think, was that all that I was supposed to talk about? I think that's all I'm supposed to talk about. The scouts uh, put out wreaths at the National Cemetery yesterday morning, and then they came to Jingle Jam. And they came in mass, and they escorted and helped with crafts and gifts and cleaned up after, swept the floor, got the parish hall back in, in shape. And they are preparing for winter camp and the Trapper's Rendezvous in January. So keep them in your prayers. So uh, how about we just do one more round of applause for all of the singers for Advent Lessons and Carols that we had today. You, you can imagine how much practice it takes to pull that off, and it was gorgeous, and we just really appreciate all the effort that they put into making this such a special service for us. Um, as far as Jingle Jam goes, I want to do a, uh, one more quick special shout out. When we got the news that the response was so much greater than we expected, right? So when we went from 35 families to almost 100 families, and we thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be really big. Um, I was talking to my spouse about it. He manages a branch of a company called uh, American Mortgage Corporation, AMC. And he got permission from the president of the company to send out a quick email saying, this is what we're doing on Saturday in Muskogee. This is what Grace Episcopal Church is, is doing for the community. And this is the need that we're finding that we have in the community. And so he just said, Any, anyone who would feel so inclined, you know, feel free to make a, a donation to help us with uh, all this extra need. And we gave him the, the website for our giving app um, on, on the webpage. And within just a handful of hours, we uh, raised almost $1,000 from the folks at AMC. So I just want to thank them for their generosity and for supporting us as well. Um, you know what's happening a week from today, right? So we have Christmas Eve. And... Uh, <laughs> so we're going to have two services that day because this, again, this is one of those weird years where we have Advent 4 fall on the same day as Christmas Eve. So at 10.30 in the morning here at the church, we're going to be doing our Advent 4 service. We will also have a baptism. So please come out and uh, participate in that service and uh, support the family who are baptizing their great-grandchild, grandchild, and child. So we'll have like four generations of people here for that baptism, which will be awesome. It's Marlene Smith's family. Um, so they'll be here uh, baptizing um, one of their own. So please come out for that. That's next Sunday, 1030 Advent 4 service. And then we will do our Christmas service that evening, and we will start at 8 p.m. So 8 p.m. Christmas Eve, we will do our Christmas service. Um, yeah, so it's almost here. Any birthdays or anniversaries this week? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say the prayer in case anybody on Facebook may be having a birthday or anniversary this week. And also, my mom's having a birthday this week, so we have that. Oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are doing communion today, but because this service is, uh, because we have so much going on with Lessons and Carols, we're going to be doing communion from reserve. So we've already, uh, we've already got the, the wafers and the wines that have, been, um, that have been blessed. So it's up there and ready to go. So I'm going to go up there. I'm going to prepare the table real quick. Uh, and then we will commune you all uh, in the manner in which we are used to doing it up at the altar. Malcolm. 
Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. All things come from Thee, O Lord. Almighty Father, whose dear Son on the night before He suffered instituted the sacrament of His body and blood, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us a pledge of eternal life and who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. our Lord Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Gracious Father, we give you praises and thanks for this holy communion of the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the pledge of our redemption. And we pray that it may bring us forgiveness of our sins, strength in our weakness, and everlasting salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God, by whose providence our Savior Christ came among us in great humility, sanctify you with the light of his blessing and set you free from all sin. May he whose second coming in power and great glory we await make you steadfast in faith, joyful in hope, and constant in love. May you who rejoice in the first advent of our Redeemer at his second advent be rewarded with unending life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ.